like we always do with this time, time, time. I put my lifetime in between the paper's lines. I'm the quiet storm. It was all a dream. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get vertical video out of this guy. This is the DJI Mini 2. Now, I know with the release of the DJI Mini 3 Pro, with its fancy schmancy camera and everything that tilts to the side, they made it so easy. All right, I'm just hating, guys. <laughs> I'm just hating because it, I haven't got it yet, and I want it so bad. But I did pre-order it, so stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, back to this little guy. Well, this guy's been really good to me, and it is possible to get vertical video out of this. As you've seen in the beginning, all those Instagram videos, all those Instagram reels that I shot, were taken with this. Now, there is a little process to it, but not much of a big headache. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you want to do is shoot the drone in the air. All right, so once you're in the air and you're flying, you're hovering, you would just go as normally as you would. However it is you want the shot, you would just record. There's no specific function inside the drone that's going to tilt it vertically. That has to be done in post on the computer. So for example, right here, I have the shot that I like here. It's going over the Hudson River into the city, get a nice view of the buildings there. And once I record this, I'm just going to stop it here and we're going to go to the computer. All right, guys. So once you have that footage you're happy with, that footage you figured you want to make into a reel, next step is getting that into the computer. I just take the memory card out of the drone, put it into my memory card reader and onto the computer. It's quick, simple, easy. Now you do have cache files on your phone from the DJ app, but those are low resolution files. And if you download them from the app to your phone, they're still gonna be low resolution. So beware of that. All right, so let's jump into the computer. So when I'm working with files like this that are just quick and easy, I do tend to just go over to the iMovie app and one, two, three, quick and simple. I do have Final Cut, but iMovie is just way more quicker and simpler to use. So we have the iMovie already opened up. This right here, this is the DJI project. This is what I just downloaded from the memory card. I'm gonna slide this into my timeline. All right, and we're gonna extend iMovie now. As you guys can see, I'm gonna bring this to the timeline right here, and then it's playing. That's what we just saw. That's what we just recorded. This is what I wanna do. What we wanna do is flip this over you see because I want either this part or the Empire State Building if I can get both those buildings together that'll be great but first I feel like it's kind of slow moving because I did record this in cinema mode so the drone was moving slower than usual so I'm just gonna speed this up a quick way to do this you hit the little time thing here speed normal slow fast I'm just gonna hit it fast one time which is gonna speed it up to two times and let's see how that plays there you go now we got some some speed in the shot all right I like how that looks so next I'm gonna go to the crop tool here and I'm gonna rotate it left and then I'm gonna hold, go hit crop to fill right here oh yeah guys it looks like I can get both buildings in one frame and then I'm gonna play it back from here oh you see that that looks good I like the whoa that looks real good that's it that's it that's it <coughs> then we're gonna export it 1080 no I want this in 4k better quality save it there we go all right boom it's done my movie sevens right there we're gonna open that one up right here file remember guys we have to rotate one last time to the left there it is this is what I just recorded this is what I'm gonna play save that and then we go into the computer and we're gonna airdrop this from the computer into my iPhone Share, airdrop. Look at that. All right, guys, so we just made an executive decision. We're gonna upload this reel that we just did from the computer straight onto Instagram, and we're gonna do it right now. So if you guys seen this reel popped up, this is the moment it happened. Today is Friday the, today's Friday the 13th, guys, by the way. So happy Friday the 13th, guys. All right, so let's just dive into it. But before we do, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you got useful content out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so because, guys, I am getting the DJI Mini 3. And when those videos, when that thing comes in, fire. All right, so let's get back into it. Guys, if you haven't already done so, follow my Instagram at the underscore gadget dad. And we're going to open up the Instagram app. 
open up the plus here go to reels we're gonna open we're gonna get that file we just made which is this one right here which is this one just playing right now and we're gonna add it and I usually when I'm doing I'm gonna talk to you guys right here so when I'm usually just uploading on Instagram I usually go through a whole bunch of track list and I just download them I say I don't download them but I save them to Instagram all the trending sounds the trending music that I can find and I just use them for occasions but I always do kind of plan ahead so for this one I did have this reel in mind and I did have a song for it already so here we go save music this was jungle if I remember So now we're going to upload it. I'm going to add filters because I don't like the compression that Instagram uses. There we go. That's what we're going with. Right caption. Happy Friday. Drone shots, hashtag DJI, hashtag Mini 2. You can actually put a... Was that a chicken? Alright, we can actually put a happy face here too. Boom! And there it goes, guys. So that's the reel right there guys again quick easy and simple hopefully you guys got some use out of this tutorial and you got some helpful useful information guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did guys all right guys so i think we've reached the end of this video unfortunately that's it for this video guys i'll catch you guys in the next one